Hello everybody and welcome back to another Heyday video. Now I literally just recorded this and it didn't save because I didn't have enough storage on my iPad and I'm so annoyed um, because I'm hoping that I can still show you everything that I wanted to show you in this video. So you know what, take two, here we go. Today I'm going to be focusing on the two lovely helpers that sit and live on the top of the cliff over here, Miss Rose and Mr. Ernest. So here we are, our farm helpers. Now I have used boosters to hire them. I have so many Rose and Ernest boosters and I haven't actually bought a whole lot of them. Like most of them are from, you know, the Greg's farm advent calendars or valley rewards or derby rewards or toolboxes or events. So I haven't purchased like a lot of these boosters. So I've got heaps of Rose and Ernest so I've activated one of each because for me, at least, I find that they work better together. So today's video is going to be focusing on how I use them. I made a video a couple of years back about how I use Rose and Ernest and I will tell you that has changed now. I use them completely differently now and that's totally fine because everybody uses them in a different way as long as it works for you. That's the main thing that matters. Use them in a way that works for you. Now, a lot of people have been saying recently that they want a second daring in the game. If you know how to use Rose and Ernest properly, there's no need for a second dairy. Phoebe, another content creator, has already made a video on how she uses Rose and Ernest. So definitely go and check that out as well. I will make sure to link that video in the description of this one. She's done a whole thing on how Rose and Ernest act as her secondary and today I'm going to show you how I use Rose and Ernest to act as my secondary. So first of all, let's head up into the settings. So let's look at Rose first. So I have 100 storage spaces. That is based on your level. So if you are in the 90s, you'll have 90 spaces. In the 80s, you'll have 80 and so on and so forth. So because I'm a level 105, I get 100 storage spaces. Now I have had Rose collecting my eggs and my milk. I haven't worried about the wool, the bacon or the goat's milk because they take six, four and eight hours. Um, and I can come on to my game and collect those when needed. So I've got her collecting 50 of the eggs and 50 of the milk because those are the quickest products and those are also the products that I use the most of. Um, so if I go over here to currently in stock it's going to show me that she's got the 50 eggs and she's got the 50 milk and she can't collect anything else because the storage is full and she doesn't have any of the other products because I don't have her collecting them. However, along the bottom there you can see, which I didn't actually know, this is news to me now, um, you can see how much of the animal feed she is currently holding. So she has one chicken feed, she's just obviously just made some cow feed, now she's got 12, 15 sheep, 17 pig and 12 goats. So I didn't actually know that you could see that there, so that's very cool. So that's telling me how much feed she has for each of the animals. Because even though I don't have her collecting from my sheeps, my pigs and my sheeps, my sheep, sheep is plural, yes? <laughs> the sheep, the pigs and the goats, even though I don't have her collecting from them, if I go into the cog wheel over here and look at her settings, I have her set on feed all animals and keep extra feed. So that means that she's going to feed all of my animals um, when they're hungry and keep extra feed for me. So if I collect from, okay, so say if I go and collect, whoops, if I go and collect from these guys, She's, she is going to feed them for me. Okay, there you go. She's going to feed them for me and then she can start making the pig feed again so that I have enough or rather that she has enough to feed them next time that I collect from them. So right now she's making chicken feed for me because I collected or used the eggs in the last recording of this video. So right now she's making the chicken feed and getting that back up to 18 because there's only one left for the next time that I end up using the eggs. So when I use the eggs to make products, she collects the eggs from the chickens and then she feeds them for me. So with the pigs, even though I don't have her collecting the bacon, so I have to collect 
the bacon myself. And then once I've done that, she will feed them for me and she will start making the pig feed once she's done with the rest of the feed. Same goes for the sheep and the goats, but I'm not going to collect from them now. And I just did some of the cows earlier and she's already fed them and she's only got 12 feeds, so she will start making the cow feed for me again as well. So if you go back up to her settings here, you can change them. So I have her on feed all animals and keep extra feed. So she'll feed the animals whenever they're hungry and then she makes the feed again for me. If you have her on keep extra feed, do not feed all animals, then she'll only feed the animals that she needs to collect from. So that's also another option. If you have her on no extra feed and only make feed when needed, she only makes enough feed to feed the animals that she needs to collect from and that she doesn't feed any of the other animals. But I want her to actually keep enough feed for all of the animals for me so that it's easier and I don't mind having her collect, uh, having her feed them as well um, because the sooner she does that the sooner I'll have more products. So that's the settings that I have Rose on, that's how I find she works best. I may change, you know, I may bring the eggs down to 40 and the milk up to 60 if I really want to focus on the dairy products or I'll get the eggs down to zero and just put the milk on 100. Honestly, it's up to you. But at the moment, I have them on 50-50 because I need the eggs just as much as I need the milk. And then if I go over to Ernest here, Ernest is my main like change from before. Like how I use him has changed the most. So I used to have Ernest collecting or making rather all of these products. However, that is not very practical because, you know, the syrup and the goat's cheese and the cheese take quite a while. So what I've started doing is only having Ernest make one product per machine. So one dairy product and one sugar mill product. So at the moment, I have him on the butter and the brown sugar. So at the moment, he's making the butter for me. He's still on the white sugar because I changed the settings before. But next up, he'll start making that brown sugar. I've got 26 of the brown sugar and 19 of the white sugar. And I've set him to make 40 of the brown sugar and 25 of the butter. So that cogwheel means that he's still going on making those products. But I could change that and I could bring the butter down. So during the day when I'm playing, I will switch between the cream and the butter. So I can put the cream back up to say 30. And I'll switch between the brown and the white sugar. So I could bring the brown sugar back down to zero and bring the white sugar up to however many I want. Let's just say 30 for now. And I won't have him do the longer products because I can put them on overnight for him because they take too long. But yeah, during the day, I'll switch between the cream, the butter, the brown sugar and the white sugar and have him make as many of those as I feel that I need. So he's still going on these ones and he'll keep going until he reaches the capacity of the number that I've set for him. And that usually, you know, keeps enough products for me for what I need to make. So let's go, let's do, um, you know what, we'll just do feta and we'll do some of the cream cake. So that's using up the cream. So then if I switch him over to the cream, so I'm going to put the butter back down to zero. I mean, I could have him make both, but I find that it works better for me personally when I just have him make one product at a time because he can just focus on that one product and I need to make sure that I press the confirm button otherwise it won't save so now I have him back on the cream so once he's finished that butter he'll pop another cream in and get that storage back up for me so that is pretty much how I've been using Rose and Ernest oh and I make sure that I've got plenty of crops for them because I don't want them to run out of crops, otherwise they can't make the products or the feed rather to make the products and collect the products. So I make sure that I've got enough of the core crops. I do need some other crops though, so I might end up planting, let's go with the cabbage for now because it's only a short one and it's still during the day for me. And I have a boat, how are we doing? Okay, I missed bunny time, that's annoying. 
going to trash these longer tasks. They can all stay. Okay, bunny time in an hour and 20 minutes. I'll try and wait till then before I take a task. But anyway, that is pretty much how I have been using Rose and Ernest recently. You can try this out if you want, if you're struggling to figure out a way to use Rose and Ernest, by all means, give this a go. But it's really just about like experimenting and finding what works for you um, and using them the way that you need them on your farm. So I hope that this video was helpful um, for some of you and I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you're all having a great day and I will make sure that I link Phoebe's video in the description as well. Definitely go and check that one out on how she uses them as a secondary and I will see you next time. Bye for now, everyone.